10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Electronics click the pad, save the ground systems. Stage one propulsion nominal. Electron is full stream ahead for its 65th launch. Soon we'll be at maximum aerodynamic pressure as Electron continues to accelerate. And that max Q moment will be called out by the launch operators in mission control soon, so let's listen in. Electron is supersonic. Approaching max Q. High voltage battery discharge nominal. Cleared max Q. Confirmation from Mission Control, we have successfully cleared max Q and are on track to reach the next milestone, MECO or main engine cutoff, in approximately 90 seconds. We are now travelling at 2,500 kilometres an hour and have reached an altitude of 22.8 kilometres and climbing. MIGO AOS on Electron requires three critical actions to occur. Guidance is not first, the nine Rutherford engines on the first stage, which are currently powering Electron, will shut down as scheduled. Second, the first stage will disengage and separate from the second stage, falling back to Earth. And then third and finally, the single Rutherford engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to propel Electron on its mission to orbit. Let's listen in for those calls for mission control. Stage one propulsion holding nominal. Standby for Miko in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Mika confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. Ecoms are in from Mission Control, confirming a successful Miko, Stage SEP and Stage 2 ignition, and everything continues to look nominal for Electron. We are now approaching fairing jettison, where you should be able to see Electron's fairing halves split and fall away after they separate. Now that we're through the thick of the atmosphere, we no longer need this nose cone to protect Black Sky's satellite. So, to save us carrying dead weight, we jettison them ahead of payload deployment. Watch out for those fairings on your screen shortly. Fairing separation confirmed. There go the fairing house, and from this view, we can get stage a good look at Black normal. Sky's Gen 3 satellite stage integrated stage onto the normal. kickstage, exposed now to the conditions of space. Looks like the Black Sky team wrote a welcome to space message on their satellite as well. We are now reaching a velocity of over 8,800 kilometers an hour, passing through 138 kilometers in altitude. We've talked about how Curie is famous for its spot-on payload delivery, but what about the journey there? That's where our GNC, or Guidance, Navigation and Control team, comes in. The GNC system onboard Electron processes a continuous stream of sensor data about the rocket's attitude or orientation, its altitude, and a whole bunch of other things 
connect right to the flight computer, which checks how far off we are from the planned flight path and makes tiny adjustments via the Rutherford nozzle positions and the stage two reaction control thrusters. Stage two propulsion holding nominal. Electron is the pioneer of many firsts, including the first battery-powered rocket engine. The batteries powering the engine on your screen are our third-generation high-voltage batteries, or HVBs. The batteries were redesigned from the ground up, including new cells, internal and external structures, and internal logic, but have been made to be a fit-in replacement for the previous high-voltage batteries. Much like a lot of Electron, the external structure is carbon composite and keeps the batteries pressurised because of the high voltage inside. The batteries also have better performance, meaning we now need fewer on Stage 1. And now it's time for a power shuffle with the hot swap of those Gen 3 HVBs up next. Throttling down. HVB discharge holding nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Hot swap successful. Battery Jetson confirmed. Stage two Mission control there with confirmation of a successful hot swap. We are now 6 minutes and 48 seconds into the mission and travelling at 15,700 kilometres per hour. All is nominal for Electron and its Gen 3 payload. HVB discharge holding nominal. All AFTS right, T seen. plus seven minutes and 16 seconds into the mission, and Electron is continuing at full stream. Our stage two burn has about 90 seconds remaining, and if you glance over to the right of your screen, we're sitting at about 25% of kerosene and LOX propellant remaining. Right now, 25.8 kilonewtons of thrust are cruising us along at over 18,500 kilometers an hour, shortly bound for the orbital velocity number that we're looking for, right around the 28,000 kilometers an hour. A quick speed and altitude check for the mission. We are now reaching 23,000 kilometers per hour with an altitude of 205 kilometers and climbing. That means we're nearing the end of the second stage's journey with second engine cutoff on the horizon. During SECO, the single Rutherford engine will shut down, followed by the separation of the kick stage with its black sky payload into a transfer orbit. Let's listen out for that call now. Seeker confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Nominal transfer orbit achieved. Mission Control has just announced yet another flawless SECO and confirmation that the kick stage has successfully separated and has entered its coast phase around Earth. 